Here we go, another midweek message. 18 degrees centigrade, 65 Fahrenheit, 63% humidity, 1021 millibars, and the wind is blasting from the west. Struth, look at the sky over there, over the downs there to the north of me. Black, absolutely black. It was raining just now. Trish and I are sorting out the shed. I've got millions and millions of reels of wire, all sorts of cable, you name it, I've got it. And we're trying to sort it out. Well, Trish is, to be honest, I can't be bothered. But uh, it's been there for years. And she's been saying, we must sort out this wire. So I've kind of left her to it. Now it's in different piles of different types. But it poured with rain, momentarily. There's a word. Poured with rain, sunshine, only for five minutes. And now it's stopped. Jack made me laugh. Hello, Jack, if you're listening. Email says he phones his doctor. Right. <laughs> this is going back to my iPad postal business. You know, press one for this. What's the number of your road? 62. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. He was trying to get through to his doctor. He says this has happened time and time again, not only with the doctor. You ring the surgery. It's an automated voice. If you want an appointment, press one. If you want blah, 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 press two. He wanted an appointment, press one. <laughs> this is funny, Jack. If your appointment is urgent, press 2. If it's just an ordinary appointment and there's no rush type of thing, press 3. So he pressed 3. If you want an appointment, press 1. So he pressed 1. And he thought, hang on, I've been here. If you want an appointment and it's urgent, press 2. If you want an appointment and it's not urgent, press 3. OK, press 3. If you want an appointment, press 1. He's going round in circles. Uh, I've never come across that, Jack, I must say. That is fantastic. <laughs> going round in a loop. Someone's not programmed the, the thing properly, so you go round in a loop. That is brilliant. Thanks for that, Jack. And one from Katie now. Right, she says, this is so frustrating. You phone wherever it is you phone. It could be the doctor, the dentist, whatever. We are experiencing heavy calls at the moment. There might be a wait. If you want an appointment, press one. Right, you press one. Please be patient. We are experiencing heavy calls, blah, blah, blah. You are number 55. 55 in the call. So you're waiting and there's dreadful music playing. You are number 43. Right, getting there slowly. You wait and you wait. Half an hour goes by. You are number 22. So you wait. And she says that an hour, right, an hour goes by. You are number 2. Ah, oh, good. Nearly there. Nearly there. You are number 1. You've been cut off. You've got to number one and you've been cut off. I love it. I love that one. I've had that. Well, when I say I've had, I have, I don't do the phoning anymore. I leave it to Trish. It just drives me around the bend. It really does drive me up the wall. What does that mean, drive you up the wall and round the bend? It's enough to drive anyone insane, isn't it? You wait an hour. You are number one. <laughs> Happy days. I remember when you could walk round to your local doctor's surgery, go up to the receptionist, hello, my foot aches. Oh, right, OK, sit down, uh, you're in the queue. No appointment, nothing like that. You'd be called in, you might have to wait half an hour, depends how busy they are. You might be there an hour if it's a really busy day. But no phone calls, none of that nonsense. Oh, I think I'm dying. Right, well, we can see you um, be about three weeks. Is that all right? Well, no, I'll be dead by then. <laughs> It's not funny, though, is it? I mean, what has gone wrong? All these things you have to do on the phone, press this, press that. It really is enough, isn't it? To Well, I give up. As I say, I just don't do it anymore. Our doctor, luckily, is within walking distance, five minutes walk. So if I want an appointment, which is very rare, thankfully, I just walk round there, go into the reception bit and say, I want an appointment. And she says, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she doesn't really. She says, of course, sir. <laughs> when would you like to see the doctor? We can fit you in in two years. Oh, no, wait a minute. There's a slot in 18 months' time. <laughs> I also remember the days when you could phone your doctor and you could say, I'm ill, or my wife, son, husband, whoever. They're ill. They can't get to you. Right, OK, hang on. I'll just check. Yes, we can get a doctor out to you this afternoon. And that afternoon, the doctor drives round in his car, comes in, checks you over, gives you a prescription or whatever. When did you last have a doctor visit your house? I think when I was about 10 years old. <laughs> anyway, there we are. That's enough of doctors. 
Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you the time. It's 20 past two on Tuesday, 3rd of October. We are getting towards December, closer and closer as we speak. Now, we made up the coal fire yesterday, or I did, made up the coal fire. Newspaper, a bit of kindling wood, coal on top, ready to light. Hopefully, we won't be lighting it for a while. They have said that we're going to have a very warm October, but the trouble is they tend to lie. They're like a cheap watch. They lie. So we shall see. The proof of the pudding will be in the eating. Goodness knows where that expression came from. My new iPad turned up eventually, and another nightmare, trying to transfer the data, all the bits and pieces from my old iPad to the new iPad. No, it says can't do that, because you haven't updated the new iPad. So you try to update the new iPad. You can't update the iPad because you haven't transferred. Oh, dear. Three hours it took. Not me. Trish, it took Trish three hours. I can't get involved. I'd end up throwing it out of the window. <laughs> right, that's enough. Hello. Did you hear that? That's Trish. She's in the shed. We've got walkie-talkies, you know, little handheld radios, so we can communicate. <laughs> Hello. She says that she's uh, sent me a photo on WhatsApp. All this stuff, all this stuff we've got these days. In the old days, we didn't have WhatsApp and send photos and walkie-talkie well we had walkie-talkies well no not when i was a kid we didn't computers ipads iphones i this i that stone the crows all we had was a telly with one or two channels on it and a landline phone that was it we didn't have all this other stuff which causes stress doesn't it people get stressed that's why i don't do it i get stressed out <laughs> I do. I can't stand it all. Luckily, Trish has more patience than I do. Anyway, I'm rambling on enough. What shall we moan about this Sunday? Any ideas? Raise rants at protonmail.com. What shall we have a good old moan about? Let's put the world to rights on Sunday. Let me know. OK, I've bored you enough. Where are we? Tuesday. So you'll hear this tomorrow and I will see you on Sunday. Look after yourselves and as usual, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Be happy. Bye bye for now.